Welcome to Secrets to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Buys. This working money forecast is for Aquarius's sun, moon, rising, and cusp. Please be mindful that this platform is designed to inform and to teach, so you may want to bring your learning tools. Also be mindful to support this channel by providing likes, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to press that bell. Now let's prepare for what messages the greatest source would like to relate to you for your working money week of January 9th until January the 15th. I'm sure it will be beneficial, so please stay awake. Hey, talented ones and cup barriers. Welcome back to the Tarot Temple again. I hope your new year has started off great. I know mine did. And um, I just want to thank you for um, those of you who have been very supportive of the temple. Um, unfortunately, I'm making some changes gradually. Um, your views were very low. I was a little shocked by that. But um, because of that, I'm going to sort of um, cut down a lot of things that I'm giving those who have been more supportive. So from week to week, I'll be really paying more attention to that. And um, the higher the views, the more information I'll give. So what we're going to do is just your basic forecast. And hopefully next week, when I look at these numbers, um, we will have more views, you know. And so I am asking you to support the temple. Or this is a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't ask for much, but some thumbs and some sharing can make a whole lot of difference. But for those of you who would like to support the temple monetarily or financially, you can do that by checking the description box. And we can tie the temple, tip, and donate. And I appreciate it very much. Uh, for those of you who have a mind to do that, okay. So, let's go ahead and get started and see what Source has to say to you regarding your work, your money, and possible romance. I don't know. But um, I heard that you all are trying to work on your angles. Trying to work on your angles? I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's math. Um, I don't know if you're hanging stuff up on the wall, you know, trying to organize something, you're trying to angle something a certain kind of way. I don't know, but you're trying to work on your angles. Okay. Overall energy, two of cups. All right. And that is based on the six of wands. You can expect the two of swords. All of that's coming from the seven of wands. It's really some different energies with the outcome of the four of cups. Ooh. Conflict and or challenge and supportive energies or blessed energies will get to. The underlying energy is the eight of cups. Okay, so this is walking away from something that you feel is not worthy. It's not with or it just could be the end of the day and you're left rather weary, maybe from the work that you do, or um, this could be pe person, place, or thing. People, people, places, or things, you know, that, that, that you're walking away from. See, if this is about taking steps to your higher self. Because sometimes you feel it moved. The great mother may be moving you to do this. You know, because you can't take everybody with you sometimes. Okay? Everybody can't go with you in your journey. Okay? This is any this is emotional. Sometimes this is sadness. You, you know, this may not be what you want, but it's what's good for you right now. Leaving that all behind. Oh, this could just basically be the end of the day and what you do, what where you work can be quite emotional. People work on your on your um Emotional energy. Working your emotion. Yeah, for some of you, it's part of your calling. You call to do this, even though you may not see it. You are, and you, you know, you are making money from it. Look at that. You are making money from it. Okay. All right. Overall energy this week is the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is about uh, outreach, proposals. Sometimes it's meeting a soulmate, 
for this uncertainty here. Um, you may not necessarily like this person, okay? You may not necessarily like this person. Some of you, this is healing, though. This is healing, you know? A lot of ego has been involved in this. A lot of ego. Yeah. But there's some healing needed here. Overall energy when it comes to your work, money, and your possible romance. I don't know who this person is who applies to, but he could be a bit of a, a soulmate sometimes. Or um, a soul connection. You know, but you may not necessarily like this person. Or, you know, you may feel a indifferent, you know, you're not here or there with this person. You know what I'm saying? But the universe has brought you together for such a time as this. Okay? A lot of emotions in this, and it's all based on this six of wands. And this is popularity. Okay? This is team leadership. Okay? This is... Um, this is, you know, this is also like revolution to me. Somebody who can come in and turn things around and make things become a straight 180, okay? Um, this person is a winner. This could be you or someone else. This is somebody who probably got a lot of fire in their chart, but, but they tend to win. It's not easy, but they tend to win. They're very focused. A rather serious person. This is this this energy here. Somebody, they, whether you or someone else, they get they get noticed. They stand out from the crowd. Okay. And you know what? A lot of the times, this person has hidden supporters. They may feel like they're by themselves, but they really have people that like them and they don't even know it. People that are supportive of them and they may not know it. They may not act on it. They may talk about it. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that, you know, somebody may want to take their spot and take their place. This is a strong individual. This person rides alone. And even if they were the crowd, they stand out from the crowd. This, this, this is this is the basis. This is the core uh, issue of your working money this week. And maybe somebody's gonna be reaching out to you because of that. But I keep hearing some healing needs to be done in this, or, we, or it's going to be done in this, because somebody walked away. Somebody left it all behind. Okay, it's all stemming from. The seven of wands that this could be like feeling attacked or uh, like I said this could be like the end of the day you know it just works on your emotions maybe people you know on the job they um, they put a lot on you you know and this person knows how to tackle things and multitask and you know they can handle a lot, but it, it 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 can weigh on them or weigh on you. This is a strong person, and this could be the same person in the six, okay? It's happening a lot of things at once. This can also be competition. A lot of people competing against this or person or you, all right? This can be tiresome shit. I'm feeling tired. And this energy, hell. Yeah. yeah, this person is set apart from everybody else. This is you or them. They tackle a lot. They have a lot of battles, a lot of people and things coming up against them. This is against all odds. Okay, what's the reason? Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Ooh, gentle and hard energy. Very, very insightful and truthfulness. Very, very insightful and truthfulness. 
sweet and hard. Sweet and hard. This could be you or them. A sweetheart. <laughs> okay? This is a sweetheart right here. But they sweet and they're hard. Okay? This is really a nice balance. You know, this is a person you'd be surprised when they speak. You know, they might speak you out. You may be surprised. Or this is you. Because they're so sweet on the outside and so helpful and, and, and you know, able to discern what to do and how to do it. But uh, you see that right there? You can get a clear message not to fuck with me, okay? Okay, now you're crossing the line. Let me let you know that right now, okay? That's what's going on this week. This is the reason. You know, they don't know how to handle this person. They stand alone, you know what I'm saying? This is a conqueror. Okay, what can you expect? The two of swords. That's to make a decision about all of this, about this person or about this work, about these people at this job. <laughs> you think you're kind of stalling, you know? You're kind of stalling, you know? You're, just, you're trying to pull the blindfolds off and see it for what it is. Okay, you're going to pull the blindfolds off and see it for what it is. See the truth. Whenever you see swords, you have to deal with the truth. You have to be honest with yourself. You know, this is a phase. Things are going to change. Once you can make this decision, you can change some things. You can reach calmer waters. Right now, your waters, your emotions are not calm. All right, you're wrestling with something. You know what? And also you got um, the number of the master teacher here. There is some lesson to be learned here. Didn't I tell you something about ego? Aquarius, this is your reading. This is probably about you. You may have Leo in your chart. Or you may be dealing with a Leo. A Leo. I don't know. But there's something about ego here. And this, this week, you may be um, humbled. Okay? And that's okay. You need that. Humbling. Okay? And I'm not talking about being humble where you're a pushover, but being humbling about circumstances. You know, we're not always right. You know? But ego has been in the way here. Maybe even some jealousy here. That's what I'm sensing in my belly. All right. Um, expect to be between a rock and a hard place this week. Stemming from all of this work of this person. Now, this is a battle axe right here. They don't mind standing up for themselves or this is you. But you are going to be between a rock and a hard place this week having to make some decision. And some of you, it may be about taking more of a leadership role. And your outcome is the Four of Cups, okay? And this is kind of like, you know, needing some time away to think things through or to just separate yourself from troublemakers. Uh, you know, so this could even be in your family. You know, kinfolk, kinfolk, because real family, you shouldn't have that problem. You might have some problems with some kinfolk. You know, you got kinfolk that's jealous of. You got, you know, members in your family that can be, you know, a problem. Okay? Or it's, it's vice versa. I don't know, but that's what you're dealing with. So you need some chill out time. You know, your arms all folded up and you having to assess this. Like, let me look at this for what it is. You're going to look at something for what it is. That's your outcome. You're going to have to solve a personal problem or some personal problems because generally there are three. Okay? There are three. But there's an answer right in front of you. The divine has the answer right in front of your face and it may be humbling. God will humble you. You know, pride comes before the fall. Let's see what the conflict is. This five of swords. This is trying to make an impression, trying to be a smart ass. Um, some type of competition. Did I say that in the seven of swords? 
Okay? Somebody trying to get across to you. Or you trying to get across to them. Okay? That's a conflict this week. How to impress somebody. You know, how to come off impressive by your words instead of your actions. You know? Because if you if you don't have any action behind your words, it really it's just it's it's really nothing. It's empty. Okay? It's a conflict. I'm also hearing a snag. There's a snag in something. You know, it could be with because this is swords, what is said or what is written. It's a, it's a, it's a snag. You know how you snag your clothes? Sometimes how that little that little thread you snag, you know, you got to try to straighten it out. <laughs> it's a conflict. You don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you get over it, but you don't like it. You don't like them snagging your clothes, okay? You don't like them little snags. That's a conflict. And what's going to help you is the Six of Swords, okay? Um... You got to move. Didn't I say something about trouble water? You're in trouble water. You got to move out of this trouble water. Okay. You need to think of a way to move on out of the trouble water. Um, and this is a physical move. Going somewhere and getting this shit off your mind. There it is. And sorting this out alone. First, you need time to yourself. You need to sort it out alone. Some of you, this is an actual move. Okay. Or some getaway time, you know, just getting out and 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 clearing your head, you know. Yeah, and your and your and your spiritual guides will lead you to do that. Cause sometimes you can't see the trees for the forest. You know what I'm saying? You really got to. Um, Get out of your head and get in your heart this week. Okay? And this seems a lot more personal, but it's around your work. It's around, it still has something to do with your work or around your work this week. But it, it, it does, for some of you, it does have a more personal touch here. Because this is this, this is a connection. Okay? And like I said, you may not necessarily care for this person. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and give you a written word. It's not the written word. You've been real popular here. All right? A spirit vibe. The written word. Okay? And I'm still growing my deck, so I'm not done with There you go. Ooh, somebody else got this. Can two walk together unless they agree? Amos 3.3. 3. That's in your Bible. Can two walk together unless they agree? <laughs> You can't make this shit up. Underlining energy is direct deposit, okay? So this may or may not be about money, but sometimes it's about a message, okay? You know how you get that voicemail message and it leaves you a text? Sometimes this is about that, all right? And I am going to leave it on that note. Thank you once again, talented ones and cup barriers for stopping into the temple. For your weekly work and money, I hope I can bring you another one next week. If not, hang on in there and remember to support this platform so I can give you more information, you know, uh, extra help. I appreciate it. Until then, take care of yourself. Hotel, peace, and one love.